There is a feature on the DJI Goggles 2 that not that many people have used or even know about, and that is the DLNA functionality. The DJI Goggles 2 have built-in Wi-Fi, and you're actually able to stream content directly to these goggles from your PC or smartphone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what the situation is and show you how to do it. Now, just before I do that, I just want to say, if you do find this video interesting, please do make sure you are subscribed. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please do consider checking out the links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description as well. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's take a closer look at what this built-in Wi-Fi and streaming functionality is all about. Okay, so just to explain the basics before we actually do it, the DJI Goggles 2 have Wi-Fi built in. They allow you to connect them to your local Wi-Fi network. They also support DLNA streaming. However, it isn't supported in the way you may expect. You cannot, on these goggles, browse content that is held on a DLNA server on your network. The way it actually works is you need to stream to these goggles from a DLNA compatible app. For instance, if you've got an app that supports streaming to DLNA displays, you will be able to stream to these goggles. But as I've said, what you won't be able to do with these goggles is connect it onto your network, look across your server via the goggles and choose content that you want to watch. In this video, I'm going to use an app on my smartphone called TVCast. That is a DLNA streaming app that will allow me to not only stream content that is on my phone, but it also has a browser function and it allows me to stream content such as YouTube directly to the DJI Goggles 2 as well. What you can't do though is stream directly from within the YouTube app on pretty much any Google Chromecast or Apple compatible app. It has to be a specific DLNA streaming app that has the ability to cast to external display devices. Now to do this, you need to go into your DJI Goggles 2, scroll down to more and select the wireless streaming function. Once you do this, it will then give you the option to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Mine is already logged in, but if you do need to register, what you'll simply need to do is put in your Wi-Fi password and then it will allow you to connect. Once you have connected to your network, it will then be ready to receive the stream input from your DLNA compatible app. Now to do this, I'm using an app called TVCast Pro for DLNA Player. This allows me to stream content directly from my iPhone to my DJI goggles. There may be other programs available out there. I haven't done too much investigation on how many different apps there are, but what you're looking for is an app that allows you to cast over the DNLA service. Okay, so I've got the app open and it's now time to be able to choose the device we want to stream to and what we want to actually stream. On this app, in the top right hand corner, you have the option there to select the actual device. So if I press it, you can see down the bottom here, a couple of options have become available. My Samsung TV, which is actually in the house, or the ZV900s, which are the DJI goggles. Now, this app allows you to stream in a couple of ways. We can stream media that is on the app to the goggles, so photos, video, anything like that, or we can stream content from the internet, such as videos on YouTube, but you can do that via the browser option. What you can't do, though, is stream directly from your phone to the DJI goggles right now via the YouTube app. You have to do it via the web browser option that is in this app. Just to demonstrate that, what we're going to do is tap on the web browser. We're then going to navigate to YouTube, search for it, go to it. Now, at the moment, it is not logged into my personal account. We're just using a generic YouTube at this moment. We're going to do a quick search and we'll search for Beta Flight 4.4 because it's a very good subject. And JB has a new video on Beta Flight 4.4 at the point of me making this video. So for instance, I can click on that and then the video will start to play on the device. Now, what you're going to need to do is if there's adverts or anything like that for YouTube, you're going to need to get past them first before you go forward. So we're going to click skip the ads a second. The video starts. You can see I've got the YouTube audio there. Just going to turn that down a little bit, JB. Before though, we stream to the goggles. We're just going to check we have the right option. So again, we're going to tap in the top corner. It tells us that we're connected to the ZV900s and to stream that to the goggles, we're simply then going to tap at the bottom here where it says tap to cast video. That will then transfer it over to the goggles and you can now hear the audio is coming out the goggle speakers. Now you can control that audio with the touchpad on the side. 
So by swiping down, you can turn the audio down, or swiping up, you can turn the audio up. And obviously, we have JB playing on the goggles themselves. So if I look through, he's there available. Obviously, it's not very easy to show you at this point. But if I just get the DJI action camera, just set that to record. If I put that there a second, you can now see that we've got JB playing on the screens of the device. And then you can see here, it's asking us, did the streaming start? No, please try again. Or yes, thanks. We're just going to say yes, thanks. And then that's it running. Now, once the streaming has started, you can simply then close the app, leave it continue, and it will continue to play in the goggles without a problem. So if I just turn it back up, you can hear that it is streaming there. Then if I unlock the phone, you can see that it just shows it down there that it is streaming as normal. Now, the nice thing about this is that you can stream YouTube videos from your phone to this via the app, and you can stream videos that you have or content that you have on your phone as well. But the thing to understand is you do need to stream to these goggles. These goggles cannot connect to a DLNA server by themselves. Now for PC, there are apps out there such as Universal Media Server I'm showing here, although I'm still playing with this and having problems getting the audio to work, but it is streaming video without a problem. Now, one of the really cool and nice features that these goggles have is the built-in speakers. Now, most people would know there's a speaker in there somewhere simply because of the fact the goggles make a noise when you power them on and you get the noises in the menus. However, there is a good stereo speaker setup in these goggles in the sense of you have a speaker on this side here and a speaker on this side here. And the overall audio from these goggles is actually really good. If I just turn it up, it's not going to be easy for you to hear on this video, but I'm just going to move it up closer to the mic. Scroll down until you see what's changed. And that's actually... I move it to the other side. Pretty complete. And if I just put it in the middle... Added, fixed, and changed in these new releases. You could literally just scroll back through... Overall, the audio is actually surprisingly good, even with basic YouTube content like tutorials and things there. And it certainly isn't going to be something that you're going to be disappointed in if you're going to watch a film or something like that. Overall, it is fairly straightforward. It's just a bit of a downside that you can't directly navigate to a DLNA server on your network with the goggles. You have to stream to them. Now, as I mentioned already, I haven't done a massive amount of investigation on what DLNA service apps work. There is that one which I've shown which works on iPhone, but you're going to need to have a look around the internet, try some apps to see if they work with your system. As I've said, you need an app that will stream to a display device via DLNA, and all you would do is once you're in the app, try to find the goggles. They should show up as something like ZV900. As long as you've connected them on the Wi-Fi network and your computer's got the app and it shows it, it should work. The overall experience is actually really quite good. The image quality on the displays is fantastic and the audio is surprisingly good from the built-in speakers on these goggles as well. There are many people that didn't even know that these goggles had speakers and the audio is more than acceptable for watching a film in my opinion. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to know about this, I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts. And if there's any questions, please do put them in the comment section and I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Furthermore, if you have found this video interesting, please do consider supporting the channel via Patreon or buy me a coffee. I want to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. I would not be able to keep making content on this channel without their support. And if you think we've earned your support today, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Hope you found it interesting. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.